today on YouTube. I got my PCBs in the mail for my Z80 computer, and I've wired it up, and um, I'm going to show you how it works and discuss kind of what's working, what's not working, and whatever. So, I haven't been had any time to implement a um, file system because the CF card will not work, and I'm not sure why, but uh, you'll see like dir open uh, to check like file system, but it has no file system. Um, so I implemented dynamic al uh, memory allocation uh, with a custom operating system, so it'll tell me tell you how many bytes are free. I haven't uh, made it so I can deallocate memory, and so it allocates a little bit more memory every time that you run a command which uses memory. So I'll have to fix that, but um, there is so much memory that right now it's unrealistic to think that I could ever use all of it. Um, and then this is a just so last you can clear the screen um, and then <laughs> reboot I think we all know what that does um, there are some hidden commands that I didn't put on here uh, DX diag being the main one and basically what this is is it's a diagnostic program to test like both the code and the computer itself um, so it tests the RAM but you can see that this doesn't make any sense, and it's actually supposed to print more. That's a problem with the graphics card that I've found, that it only happens during the dxdag command, and I believe it is because of there's just too much data going on the serial port. Kind of bizarre. Um, but to move on to the next test, you just press enter. And then here, it reads uh, the drive status byte, the drive error byte, uh, since there is no um, IDE connector or controller or anything uh, related to disk in here. This information pretty much is bogus right now. Um, and so that's basically all the code I have so far. Unfortunately, I could write more, but I don't have uh, the CF card working um, or any other IDE device. I'm not sure why it won't work. Um, but it just doesn't like me. Don't know why. Um, so, anyways, this is a huge step forward um, for me because I've been working on this for longer than I've known about Hackaday, and uh, I finally got it to this point. So, uh, it's been a long learning process, and it's been very nice. And so, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and um, yeah.